morning. This is Anita and Miss Panda with the Timepiece Garden. So we have already fallen back. <sighs> I let the chickens out. The weatherman says in 30 minutes I'm going to have a torrential downpour, thunderstorm, tornado watch going on, you know, crack a lack of, and it's dark. It's coming. Again, I know the camera never shows how dark it appears. But normally by now, even if we were at the regular time, not with the fall back time, the street light would already be off. You know, the sun is up. Just not bright and shiny. Might be above the clouds. So, I'm gonna hang out and yeah, you can see the clouds moving. I'm gonna hang out for a little while. See what the storm does. I think there's deer out in the field somewhere because Panda keeps barking at him. Oh, I just heard some thunder. Town might be getting hammered. Alright, I will talk to you later. Storm's here. Not heavy yet, but it's here. Talk to you in a few. It's starting to rain again. I just got home. I, uh, looking at the culverts as I was driving by. Again, it's fall. I go through this every fall, but I've got to go walk the culverts um, and get the leaves out of them. And I need to do that today. We're supposed to get heavier rains this evening and possibly again into tomorrow. So, um, I gotta go make sure my culverts are clear. Otherwise, my little bit of here that I get water down off the hill will be a deluge because the culverts will plug and this is where it drains out, which is back behind the house and I don't like that. You know, it needs to run on down the hill the other direction. So, me and Ms. Pan are gonna go for a walk. I'll talk to you later at the culverts. It always amazes me how once I start losing all my leaves, uh, how the view changes. Um, you can't see it from here, but there's now a house down the hill that I don't believe was there last year. Could be wrong, you know, could be I just never noticed it, but I don't think it was there last year. So I don't know if, if you know, my neighbor's sons have built some houses in separate places for the individual families. I'm going to split the land up when Dad dies. You know, not wishing death upon him or his family, but there's a house there. All right, having said that, this is why we come check the culverts. That's, uh, about almost six inches worth of leaves before you reach ground level. And I need to clear that out. Um, because, again, we're going to have storms at night. I need to clean it out and just kind of rake it out and then rake out the uh, rake out the culvert there. Because there is a culvert there. You know, the culvert's here. There you go. And the ravine is there. But rake it out so as the water comes down, it doesn't hit this and then jump over and go down the road. I need it to go under the road right here. I do this every year. So let me get busy. Miss Panda and I, she's up there playing wild dog in the woods. She and I talk to you later. All right, bricked out the ravine all the way down to the culvert. So now, yes, if the wind blows wrong, it'll blow all this on the road back in the ravine. I know that. Or it'll blow more of this off the top of the mountain into the ravine. I know that too. I know that, uh, you know, it's typical that I gotta come up here and, and rake it out. 
about three times a year. It's easy. But you can see where you can see the, uh, hey, oh, there you go. Isn't that such a pretty little piece of culvert? All right, this is the one that's at the top of the hill. And I'll work our way down to the next one and keep going. Talk to you in a few. Number two is clean and clear. You can see where the, the ravine is there and the ravine is there, nice and clear. Just in time for a downpour. All right, off to the next one. It's the culvert at the wet weather waterfall. Again, cleared out, cleaned out. You know, there's a lot of leaves. I do this like three times a year, typically all in the fall, until the leaves are wet enough and packed down enough that they won't they won't move. I'll be over here again. But for now, we're done. Talk to you later. Alrighty. Last of the culverts. This is the one that goes under my primary road. Keeps on going down until it goes to the guy's ponds. Uh, so yeah, this is the one that why I determined that I needed to go walk all of them because I could not see this culvert at all. Um, so it's all the way up that way, cleaned out the leaves, and then this side is good enough. I don't have to, kind of in between the trees, you can see it. It cleaned itself out. This is probably where all the leaves came from, um, but this is the one that goes all the way up back beyond the house that keeps the water from going down to the house. So I need to walk this one and make sure like these two trees here, that they get chopped off and chopped down so they don't change the water's direction. Makes sense that water always needs to go there. But that's not today. That's not a, a rainy day task. So we're done. I'm gonna go put the tools away, at least under the, under the porch so it'll stay dry. Panda's been having a blast. Wild dog of the woods, she's near, but she's just, mommy, you're making too much noise. Scaring all the critters. So, she's somewhere. But she and I, we'll talk to you later. Done, just in time, huh. Tools laying on the porch. A lot of water coming down. Roads full of water. It's okay. All the culverts are clear. So hopefully we get a break at some point in time. I'm gonna have to go check eggs. See how the babies are doing. Give him some evening scratch. All right, I'm gonna talk to you later. And this is why I wanna make sure that the tarps go over down that side with the clear shower curtains on that side. Um, it's raining and we've had some hard rain and they're in here because it's not, in some sense, it's semi-protected. Um, and if I get the stuff here on the right and take it down even halfway, their, uh, their roosting bars here won't be as wet. And when it's, they come in on their own, you know, it's dry in here. They've got scratch in here. I just gave them some tomatoes in here. Um, and they're, they're good, you know. Say the weather's icky. It's not rainy in there. It is outside it. You can hear the rain. So it was a, a winter thing I want to do, and I still want to do it. Got the stuff for it. I just got to get time. All right. I got to go check eggs. Talk to you all in a few. Two days of rain, 
and there's green in my grass. Now, the area I'm pointing at down there is not an area that I water. I tend to water up here. So, yay! I didn't lose it all. All right, talk to you later.